CBSNews.com. Newly released footage shows two of the four U.S. soldiers ambushed by Islamic militants last October in the African nation of Niger. National Geographic's chain of command features Sergeant LaDavid Johnson and Staff Sergeant Dustin Wright with their unit. They were killed alongside two other soldiers in the attack. Here's David Martin. Anybody can shoot a gun, you know, demo is something else. It's a lot more fun. Staff Sergeant Dustin Wright demonstrates how his team detonates weapons. While Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, full of life, does backflips, sings and jokes with the Nigerian soldiers his team was training. Johnson's full-time job was as a mechanic, but he did double duty as a barber. Is there something you haven't been able to fix or do that you've been asked to do on this trip? Negative, sir. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Just three weeks later, on October 4th, Johnson, Wright, and two other soldiers were ambushed and killed by terrorists. Johnson's body was not recovered for two days, which speaks volumes to retired Brigadier General Donald Bolduck, the former commander of special operations in Africa. There was most likely an element of surprise that the patrol was overwhelmed very quickly. You're defending your country. Yes. Special forces were in Niger to train the local troops who, according to their commander, were chasing roaming bands of terrorists. Nigerians and their American advisors headed out on what was supposed to be a simple reconnaissance patrol. But halfway through the patrol, the special forces were given another mission. Check out a campsite where a wanted terrorist had been spotted a few days earlier. Going after and checking out an area that a high value target has just been in would be a you know high risk mission the correspondent david martin is at the pentagon with us uh, david what is the latest on the investigation into this ambush well it's been delivered to both the secretary of defense and the chairman of the joint chiefs of staff for final review but that could take a while because uh, this report runs to thousands of pages of interviews with uh, American soldiers, but also uh, Nigerian soldiers and French officials, all of whom uh, played a role in, in this incident. On top of that, uh, late in the investigation, a uh, video taken by a helmet cam worn by one of the American uh, soldiers came to light, and that had to be taken into account as well. With thousands of pages and various interviews, what is it that investigators are looking at? What is it that they want to thread the needle on? Well, from what we know so far, this mission was changed. It began as a low-risk engagement patrol, and what that means is exactly what it sounds like. They were to leave their base, go out into villages, meet with elders, get a general sense of the lay of the land. Somewhere during that mission, they got given a second mission, which was to check out a terrorist uh, site where a, a known terrorist had been uh, camped out, had left, and had crossed the border into Mali, uh, where he was uh, at least temporarily safe from attack by Americans. When <clears throat> that mission changed, the level of risk of that mission also increased uh, significantly because now they're uh, going to a place where uh, they could encounter the evidence. Uh, but we've seen no indication that uh, commanders uh, took any additional security precautions, uh, such as putting uh, the troops in armored vehicles as opposed to unarmored uh, SUVs. Uh, or any other precautions when they took on that high-risk mission and when it was returning from that mission that they were uh, ambushed and the uh, four soldiers were killed. So the actions of the commanders, who approved uh, that additional miss mission and why, are a very important part of this investigation. And if they approve that mission without the proper authorization, without the property security procedures, then they could be liable to uh, a letter of reprimand or uh, some other career damaging action. Now, David, when we first heard about this incident, there were a lot of questions about wh why a Sergeant uh, LaDavid Johnson's body was left behind. What went wrong there? So far, have there been any repercussions or any perhaps changes in protocol? Well, uh, it's always a, a disaster when an American soldier is left behind, and it took them two days to. Uh, 
to find uh, where his uh, body was, where he had tried to uh, take cover as they were being overrun. Uh, <clears throat> the Pentagon insists that operations continue as usual, but you can be sure that even routine patrols now get an extra degree of scrutiny to make sure that there's no risk of coming in enemy contact. And that extra level of scrutiny is probably going to uh, decrease the number of American patrols in that area because there simply aren't enough uh, aircraft and, and drones uh, to go around to uh, back up every mission uh, in which contact with the enemy is considered likely. David Martin at the Pentagon. Thank you.